Welcome back to Rednecks Dirty Hands. I'm Pete. And today I've got Jim in the shop here with me and we're going to work on a off season project. We're starting something. I think it's going to be a cool idea. Now, got 140 mile an hour out of your mama. It's been consistent, but I think she's maxed out. No point in having two radar sleds, so might as well turn your mama into something pretty cool. So I got an idea. <laughs> Uh, as everybody knows now, Yamaha is leaving the snowmobile industry. I think 20, what is it, 2025 is the last model year? I believe so, yes. So we got some time to build our own Yamaha model. So, you know, Yamaha nailed it out of the gate with the, you know, the triple 700. Everybody loves those SRXs. When they came out with the Sidewinder and then they came out with the SRX model of it, it's the same thing. It's just the, you know, four stroke, three cylinder turbo. So I'm thinking, Players has the boost, Skidoo has that comp, you know, two stroke turbos. This is the Yamaha project I think everybody wanted. So I'm gonna take that 700 triple, take it out of there, put it in your mama, and hopefully keep the turbo on there. Shoot for 200 horse, maybe a little more, I don't know. Gonna talk to the fellas at Antimassies. If anybody can make a two stroke go in one of these, they can build it for me. So I'll mock it all up in there. Hopefully it all fits and then uh, we might have a cool project on the go. What do you think, Jim? I don't know. You got some pretty crazy ideas, but <laughs> uh, this is going to be pretty wild. I think so, right? Like, yeah. if we can make this thing, like, there's no reason why it can't fit in there. The only concern I think is going to be is if we can keep the triple pipes or, you know, might have to steal Deron's SXR single pipe setup. I know we'd be robbing some power going to a single pipe, but we're going to be strapping a turp ski on there. So the turp ski is going to add power. So I'd like to try and keep it a triple, 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 you know, it's a three cylinder, three pipe. I'm going to switch her over to hopefully fuel injection. You know, we'll do three uh, throttle bodies on there. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's been following the channel, that's my golf cart up there. That's got the Yamaha R1 motor in there. And we got a fuel tech setup that we got off of Antimassies to run that. So my idea is, Hopefully we can use the fuel tech on this project, which should work out good because we can uh, close loop it with the O2 so we can target the proper air fuel ratio, all that. It'll be fuel injected. I'll keep a pull start, obviously I'm not going to switch her to electric start, but then your mama can end up a triple two stroke turbo boost eater. <laughs> Skidoo killer. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the Yamaha SRX everybody wanted and everybody deserves in 2025. <laughs> Hopefully we haven't done before 2025, but uh, eh, you got her, some time to kill. You'll get her done. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, you know, Christina's got the Vixen. She's got the pretty sexy looking wrap on there. She's got the hot chick with the yeah, bikini. You know, if the Vixen's going to be looking good, then maybe your mama, maybe we'll get the Total Recall chick on there, the one with the three titties. <laughs> first steps first. Jim's gonna pull this one all apart. We gotta get the motor out of it so we can mock it up in here and see if it's even gonna work or we're just gonna drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll Hit her patter. Let's, Let's get, get at, get her. at her. All right, so I know there's probably a lot of people thinking I'm nuts for even trying to attempt this. Why take a perfectly good 140 mile an hour sled apart just to uh, do a crazy project? Why not? You know, you gotta be different. Everybody's, tons of guys out there with sidewinders that go fast. I want one that's different. You know, your mama's special. So to do this, I got no idea if it's gonna work or whatnot. So I just made up this jig. I took an old uh, sidewinder secondary, just an old Yamaha primary. I've got it keyed on to the jack shaft. I've got the taper cinched on there. It's not tightened down right now, but this should hopefully give me the proper center to center and offset. I can mount this onto the uh, SRX 700 motor and then we should be able to slide it right off. That's gonna keep her locked parallel. So I just gotta dangle the SRX motor in there when we're all hooked up on here, figure out where it's gonna sit. Hopefully we'll have clearance for throttle bodies, exhaust, and then uh, that'll tell us if this project's a go or no. So. You tear that one apart, I'll tear this one apart, and uh, we'll have a beer and assess the situation once we get the, once we get these things empty. Okay, let's get at her. 
Yours looks a little easier to get the motor out, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> these are so much nicer to work on. They, right? You know, these ones, you know, they like to bury them underneath all that crap, but uh, we've already done the experience with the shocker there, you know. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as that one. That one's had on the lift for a year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I told you. One more hose. One more. Well, not bad. <laughs> all right, it can go. Yeah, let her go. <laughs> you got three pans underneath there. <laughs> oh, yeah. so a pan for each cylinder. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, that wasn't too bad. Too bad. Yeah, pretty quick, eh? No, no, not bad at all. Now, uh, do the same thing to that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're used to doing that. <laughs> oh, she's a part sled now. <laughs> nice one. Well, a couple hours and a, a few choice words. We got the motor out of the SRX and out of Yamama. They're both sitting on the ground. Now I think it's time for a beer. Well, Jim, how was that? Wasn't bad. <laughs> I think about four hours we had them both out. Right. This one, super simple. Didn't take you long to get that one out at all. This one, you know, there's a little bit more involved to doing it, but uh, as you can see, there's a big gaping hole in Yamama. <laughs> SRX is uh, empty, she's a parts rig now. I mean, when they say size doesn't matter, I don't know. <laughs> There's a big Does boy. Does this size matter? <laughs> He's single, ladies. <laughs> but yeah, there's the triple four stroke, uh, 200 horsepower. And then there's your little triple 700 two stroke. That's uh, quite the difference, I think. The weight savings alone, Jim. Huge. She should be pretty quick. Oh, big time. Because this one I can lift up by myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> Tighten up your kidney belt for that oh. one. Bust a nut. All right, well, they're out on the ground. Let's grab a beer. Sounds good. We're not even halfway there. Now we got everything stripped out. It's time for a cold one. And now we got to think uh, how we're going to make this happen. <laughs> Might take a few of these, maybe a case or two. <laughs> That was a uh, pretty good beer break, and now uh, we're back to work, and the motor is actually sitting there. Got every single tool I own out of the <laughs> toolbox and sitting on the sled, but uh, we got her in there, Jim. She's in there, but we got a <laughs> lot of work ahead of you. We're just eyeballing. There's the carbs there. We're not going to be using those. We're going fuel injection here, hopefully. So we got the motor sitting down in there. I think we got it tip it a little bit more to point these the intakes up a bit and we'll nose dive the exhaust down in the front building an exhaust for this is gonna be exhausting i think <laughs> but yeah making up this jig tool for the center to center and the offset is working out pretty good so far like it, this whole side of the engine is just supported by this there's nothing underneath it or nothing holding mm -hmm. it up we got it blocked on the other side so that's Basically going to locate the motor where we need it to be, and then we're just going to tip it a little bit. We'll make some mounts. I don't really want to commit to cutting this chassis up. I would like to retain the, its ability to go back to stock one day, maybe. I don't know. The plan is, if this works out awesome, it's going to live the rest of its life as a triple uh, 700 turbo. But, God forbid, something else goes wrong. We want to put the other, the four-stroke triple back in there. I don't really want to go hacking the chassis up and not being able to do that. So, we're going to have to have some more beer to think about how to make this all work. But it's sitting in there, so that's a, that's a step in the right direction. I've been pitter-pattering and getting at it, so you know I'll show you what I've done here. She's all mocked up together. Let's have a, have a peek inside. Might have to call this Stifler's mom because... <laughs> There's our buddy McLeanski, a.k.a. Stifler. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Not too bad. Long time no see. It's nice to be back. Yeah, it's nice to have you back. <laughs> That's good. You want to uh, want to help me uh, show everybody what I've been doing on your mama? 
That's, that sounds like an OnlyFans channel. What have I been doing on your mama? <laughs> <laughs> I have been busy, you know. You know, start of this project, everybody thinks I'm nuts taking this thing. This was a solid 140 mile an hour in the quarter mile sled, you know. I had a lot of fun with this thing, but you know what? If you want to be awesome, you got to do awesome shit. So we're putting the triple two stroke turbo in there. Hopefully it works and I'll show you where I'm at. All right, McLeanski. Normally I'd say don't touch my mama, but you can touch your mama. <laughs> All right, so that's the jig I got in there for the clutches. So everything's locked in there. Come around to the other side. I just got it all mocked up with the panels on here just to make sure my clearances are all good for everything I got. That exhaust pipe there, I originally built for when I had, that's JP sled now, but when I first uh, put it all together for going fast, I built this exhaust on there because I wanted my own race pipe. That's all bits and pieces off a GMC 3500 Savannah van. I put a band clamp on it in case we wanted to put a muffler on there. I might still have to because this thing's going to be a two stroke with a straight pipe. That is a little cherry bomb muffler at the bottom there. But, you know, this thing being a two stroke triple, this exhaust is going to be louder than your wife the other night when you got home from here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on. But, yeah, so... I've got, this is the stock Yamaha Sidewinder Turbo mounted in there. She's locked solid. Uh, got the exhaust down pipe figured out. I got an O2 sensor bung welded on this side. I already had an O2 sensor bung on this side, but because I had to reorientate, I had to cut it apart and build this section here because now we're going, the angle of this is different. That would normally be straight up and down. So I've got that in there. This O2 sensor bung kind of sitting a little bit angled up and you don't want your O2 sensors angling up. You want it down so it doesn't uh, fill with condensation or anything like that. So I'll probably just put a cap in this one. We'll go with this one here. So I did just assemble all this. I put the get fuel tank on there and everything so I would know how much room I would have for an intake for the exhaust, where I could route the pipe. So. I want to use the stock fuel tank. It's obviously got an electric fuel pump in there. So if we're fuel injecting this, we're going to need a fuel pump. So I'll pull that out of the way so you can see what's going on over here. So basically, I didn't want to cut any of the original motor mounts or anything out of this. So I've got, I made a steel plate that kind of, I drilled some holes into the original mounts here. So I bolt down through that. That's bolted to the motor. And then down on the front side, I've got the same thing. Use the main halo hoop that kind of stiffens the chassis on here and bolts to the uh, motor mounts on the original Sidewinder thing. So that, that 700 triple in there is in there <laughs> solid. This thing's blue. That's Viagra blue. She's stiff. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so she's rock solid, baby. So now that we got the motors all mocked up and everything in here, I should be able to take this jig off. I... So, hopefully, this all comes off. No problemo. We're about to find out. Oh my god. Why'd I become a mechanic? I should have been an engineer, McLeanski. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That tool right there is part of all the magic of how this is working out so good. Just by locking this onto the jack shaft and then this old clutch onto the spline of that, that suspended that motor exactly where we needed it. I had to tip the motor forward to get the, uh, the intake boots sticking up so we'd have clearance for the throttle bodies. But uh, without this, this job would be, I'd be blowing belts or whatever. You know, I wouldn't have the center center right or the offset or nothing. So this was a lifesaver. As you can see in there, that motor's hanging, <laughs> dangling in the breeze in there. There's tons of room. I could have got it a little bit lower down in here, but the whole point of building the jig and all that was so I could just use a regular, you know, stock Yamaha belt. Well, Ultimax belt is going on this because you got a triple 700 turbo 
yeah, you're going to be taking it to the max. So we'll, we'll be rocking either. It'll either be an XS825 or an XS805. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure of the size of the clutch that I'm going to be using on this thing, but uh, stock belt should work on this. Thanks to my friends at uh, Ultimax, Mike and Mike, and the guy from Minnesota. But uh, yeah, she's mounted. She's rock solid. Beauty. I cannot express how happy I am that that jig worked for locating that engine. And this project is laying itself out. It's almost like it's too easy. I can still use the original belt guard. It fits the clutches perfect. I, I think I'll be able to ma make a mount for the servo motor here. I might be able to repurpose my fuel pressure regulator because I had all that set up for doing the, the high speed stuff. I cut apart a stock charge tube uh, just to kind of relocate. I'm thinking I'm going to put the charge tube over here and make our way to the throttle bodies that we'll talk about in a minute because that's going to be a huge ordeal getting those things working. Um, I put all the braces in just to keep the steering head in place to make sure the plastics fit. The turbo is on here. She's close. She's tight, but she ain't touching. I'll still be able to get at all the spark plugs. I mean, this thing is fitting pretty nice. One of the main things about doing this too is I want to fuel inject it with that fuel tech that we got from Antimacy's track and trail there. And uh, the <laughs> unfortunate problem is, is nobody makes throttle bodies for like an SRX 2000 or whatever for your sidewinder. So I have cobbled up a creation here. These little ends are stock ends off carburetors for the old Yamaha triples. I cut them off and then I machined these throttle bodies here. I'll show you. Come on over here. So this sitting over here, this is the original motor out of your mama. And uh, these are the, obviously the original throttle bodies off of that. So these throttle bodies here, or a spare set I had off the scrap Viper KP bought uh, a while ago. Uh, so these throttle bodies were that, and you can kind of see the spacing difference, right? So these were all connected like these guys were. So I literally, I cut them apart and then I machined them, welded up all the extra holes. This is a fuel rail off an apex. I also had to cut all the injector little, what were we going to call those pockets, saddles? I don't know. Move them into the place. So I got to weld all these up and I got to weld the holes in this fuel rail. I got my fuel line in here, fuel pressure regulator port on there. I'm just going to put a barb on that, seal it with an O-ring. That'll go to my adjustable fuel pressure regulator there so we can we can fine tune it, you know, because we're going to be fine tuning the boost on her too. If this thing works, I don't know how much boost we have. Leave a comment. How much boost do you think it'll take? <laughs> We're going to be working from anywhere from three to 10. I don't know. Maybe more. <laughs> I have no idea. It might, it might not even run. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be a th finicky thing. I had to cut the throttle plate. This throttle body is its own individual throttle body. These two are linked. So this throttle shaft goes straight through there. I had to cut it apart and then I machined this little sleeve here. I've got some O-rings on the side to seal it because we don't want any air leaks coming through your throttle bodies, but we're also going to be boosting it and we don't want to lose any boost through there too. So I got to fine tune all this stuff, make sure it all still turns, throttle position sensor on there, all my vacuum lines. I lost that one. I was welding this and that one fell out somewhere in my travels, so I got to replace that one. But uh, this is definitely the most involved, like intricate part of the build. Well, aside from the exhaust pipe, we haven't got to the exhaust pipe yet, but <laughs> we got throttle bodies in hand with a fuel rail and I even got these rubber O-rings on there. They'll work. I'm going to build an aluminum intake that will couple onto these and I'll have bolt fixtures so I could bolt them down. So it's not like the old T-Cat. We're at D-Ron's ratchet strap, <laughs> strapping the carburetors on the motor because they kept blowing off. So this one will be bolted down, kind of like how the sidewinders are. They got bolts on them that hold them down to the head. So 
you know, we're not going to be going crazy boost like the shocker, you know, we're not running 40 pounds of boost, but 10 pounds of boost on an engine that was never meant to be boosted is probably going to blow stuff apart. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get her figured out. These all, all the original carburetor ends already have the grooves cut in them for these rubbers on the uh, reed cages. So, you know, when I pop these guys in, they lock in. I can clamp them and then I'll put brackets on it and longer bolts and spacers so I can bolt them right down here so it'll suck them on. Ain't no way she's going to blow off of there. So uh, fingers crossed that works. And then it'll be uh, onto the exhaust pipe. This is probably one of the most ambitious builds I've gotten into. Well, I can't say, really say that. I built the Braptor. If you go back in the channel and watch a few uh, episodes of the Braptor, that thing's pretty wild, and that was built from basically scratch, full tube chassis, turboed, Yamaha RX-1 motor. That took a lot of time, but you know, sometimes things just work out, and like this sled here, just the placement of this 700, like the steering shaft is just clearing the spark plugs, the turbo mounts up in here, it clears the hood panels, the throttle bodies are fitting, the original charge tubes I've moved the turbo up and forward, and this original tube fits on here, no problem. Everything clearances. I'll have to put a turbo blanket on here just so I don't melt the plastics down. You know, your mom was going to get hot. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I modified this original charge tube with the blow, original blow-off valve. I can angle it up here. I think everything so far is working out great. I haven't had to cut, hack, or modify the original chassis at all you know what i'm a firm believer in the universe and you know the universe is shining on me because it is giving me exactly what i need when i need it Ooh, see <laughs> thank you universe <laughs> you're welcome peter let her dangle <laughs> even the universe wants to let her dangle but <laughs> there's gonna be some hurdles that you know we're still i don't even know uh, I, I hope I'm going to be able to get over them. Building this, you know, uh, Y pipe, it's going to be a W pipe because I got to get three in the one. I know I'm cutting her down, you know, taking an SRX from a triple pipe to a single pipe, but A, I don't know if your mama can take all three at once, you know, it's just, I don't think there's the room in there. So, Go into one big fat single pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it together, McLeansky. <laughs> so we're just going to give your mama the big one. We're going to make a y pipe, W pipe, put a V-band clamp on it, try and get a coiler up through here, and then snake around over to the Turbski side. Yeah, I know. Everybody's like, oh, you're going to lose horsepower or, you know. Yeah, I get it. Horsepower gains from the triple pipes. That's where this comes in. We're going to be adding some horsepower, hopefully. So I'm hoping that it runs good with the single pipe and then gets the benefit from the turb ski, you know, and the fuel injection with the help from uh, Auntie Massey's there. I'm, I'm very optimistic that they know more about this stuff than I do. They should be able to help me out to tune this thing, and uh, I think we'll get her ripping and dangling for next season. Not right now, though. <laughs> We're going to have a beer right now. You know, as always, let me know what you think of this project, if you think it's going to work out. If, you know, if you want to see the triple turbo two-stroke fuel-injected SRX 700 tear up the snow next season, I'm going to keep working on it. I think I can cross all the hurdles, you know. Whether it's going to work going from single pipe, you know, from the triple pipe to the single pipe, I don't really know. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. The universe said I could do it. How'd it go? <laughs> don't forget me, Peter. I'm, <laughs> I'm on your side too. <laughs> you know, we have fun making these videos. This is going to be a very involved job. You know, it's a big project. There's still a lot of things I got to figure out. Hopefully I can get the help from a few... Uh, fellas out there, you know, and I'm going to be relying on heavily, you know, JP, Billy, McLean, Ski, you know, the crew, 
hopefully we can get her dialed in for next season and we can get this Yamaha. The Yamaha that Yamaha should have built, you know, the boost eater is what I'm calling it. So hopefully we can get your mama back up and going for next season. We'll see. But uh, you know what? As always, we have fun making these videos. This is going to be an ongoing process. And we got other projects on the go. I got to rebuild the skid and everything on that. We might go drag racing with that, or that might be my trail rider. I don't really know, but uh, that's going to be another project. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see me working on that. But as always, we appreciate everybody tuning in, supporting the channel, you know, hitting the like button, sharing it, subscribing. You know, we're over 25,000 subscribers now. McLeanski JP and I started this back in 2020 with some doom buggies and farting around or whatever. And now here we are going fast, 150 mile an hour plus on snowmobiles on YouTube and you are liking it. So, you know what? We'll keep her going. We appreciate it. We appreciate you guys. And cheers. Take her easy.